Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Sig Sauer P365XL. Took the concealed carry world by surprise. It certainly surprised me when Sig expanded the P365 line with this model with a longer barrel, 3.7 inches, and many other features that nobody saw coming. I certainly didn't see it coming. And P365 fans, very loyal fans, by the way, are excited that this is out and available now. Now, prior to all this, Sig's Darling. And the most excitement out of 2019 that I saw was the P320 X Compact. They made a smaller model of the X Carry and People were raving about it. Like, this was the attention getter from Sig Sauer. This was the biggest deal out there. The P320 X Compact with a 3.6 inch barrel took the X Carry into a smaller, more CCW type of handgun. And, and I, I got my hands on it and love it. It's, it's a great gun, no question about that. But now that it has, that Sig has the P365 XL. Sig fans are going nuts, and they look a little bit like this. Let's do a quick size comparison with Sig Sauer's two most popular carry handguns. At the moment, here we have the P320X Compact and the P365XL. Clearly a market for this. Glock came out with the G48. Smith & Wesson came out with the M&P Shield with the longer barrel. Now SIG came out with the P365XL. Let's check this out here. First, let's look at the slide width. 1.1 inches wide on this one here. P365 XL. Wider, wider here, but check this out. The grip is very thin. Now we have 12 rounds with the P365 XL. The X Compact has 15 rounds, both X ray 3 night sights. But the one thing that, that this, it's just a, a thicker, sturdier gun, definitely a more heavy gun, more of a duty type of gun. This is clearly CCW. Both are, but. I, I, when you hold them side by side, this just feels so much more sturdy. Not to say that this isn't a worthy CCW choice. It is. The 365 uh, original has created many people into believers of this gun. So let's get into it. We'll show clear here. It comes with two 12-round magazines, but the price is right between $560 to, to $590. Somewhere in there, most you know 575 is a good ballpark range for this gun a little bit more expensive it actually offers quite a bit more than the smaller original p365 does have the same nitride finish all right already mentioned x-ray three night sights all right which is definitely a nice touch it does have the straight edge here so you can charge the gun off a boot or a belt or, or whatever. It is optics ready. All right, this plate comes off here and that it, it will fit a SIG Romeo Zero uh, optic. And the one thing that SIG does is they, they make their guns proprietary for SIG accessories. Some people love it, some people uh, are irritated by it, but that's that's just how it is. You know, if you want their guns, that's what you're, you're going to have to continually buy, buy, buy. We'll see what aftermarket companies do. But it does have an extended beaver tail there and a flared magwell. You can see here it flares out a little bit. Not a big difference, but that right there will help with the mag changes or, or quicker mag changes the trigger it is a flat face x series trigger breaks at 90 degrees let's go ahead and check that out it has a very soft strike kind of feels like it you know you used to hearing that you know when it when it strikes but not so much with this short reset pretty nice trigger you know i really like this one too but when i first had this one now this is clear as well. That has a soft strike too, so it clearly works, so there's there's not a problem there. The rail also is proprietary for SIG lights and lasers. There are aftermarket companies that are putting 
uh, other accessories on here so that you could add more common lights and lasers that you don't have to buy SIG products. But it is a modular gun. So if you have the P365 and you want to switch out the frames, you can even switch out the slides. If you want to use this optic ready slide on your other frame, you'll be able to do that. And I'm told that SIG Sauer is going to be selling the XL frames separately. And we'll see how available those will become. But this does have a 3.7 inch barrel and it is a pretty nice package. Now, the main draw with the P365 and the XL model is the size and weight. We already talked about the size, but now let's check out the weight. Here we have an empty magazine, clear gun. The unloaded weight is 20 and 3 eighths ounces, but let's put this bag in with 12 rounds of target loads. Now I will say that last round was tight. I had to use my speed loader and we are looking at the carry well the 12 rounds 25 and 3 eighths ounces we had the carry round 25 and 3 quarters ounces so here you're getting 13 rounds just under 26 ounces so there it is guys p365 xl six hour they did it again and people are loving it if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.